Hey guys, welcome back. Since I've posted my SD card tutorial, I've received a lot of questions and uh, even generally I see there's a lot of uh, trouble that people have reading from micro SD cards with Arduino. So this video will address some of the most common issues and how to resolve them. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now the first major question that people get is that their SD card, once they plug into it, they start a program, it doesn't get initialized. That means it's not even read from the Arduino. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, learn how to initialize our cards. And so for that, I'm going to plug this right in here. And uh, let's go back to our Arduino sketch. Now, there is a simple built-in tool in examples, SD card info that you can use to make sure that your card is working once you've got all the connections all right just uh, as explained here um, and as I've explained in my previous video you just uh, have to run the program believe it or not it's that simple it's taking a while it usually does because it goes through uh, you know your entire SD card okay it says it's done it's uploading it so let's see what we get on our communication port. All right, it says initializing wiring is correct and card is present. It tells me the card type, it tells me the type of volume, type of format. And uh, that's it. Basically it tells me everything is all right. Now, if you try to put this card in, let's see what it does. And while our compiler is compiling let me tell you that you have to connect these three pins as they are to pins 11 12 13 and then I've connected my CS pin here to pin 4 but on some Arduinos you have to connect uh, it to pin 10 so make sure what Arduino you have and what pin you need to connect the CS pin to this is done uploading see here we see a different outcome we say initialization failed. Things to check. Is a card inserted? Is your wiring correct? Uh, we can say yes to these two. Did you change the chipset pin to match your shield or module? But I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem is that, first of all, this guy is fried. This is some, some Chinese um, cheap SD card reader. So this one doesn't work. So make sure your SD card reader works. Secondly, this is a 128 GB micro SD card and these guys are just too old to read something as big as this so if you have seen my previous example I would used this card which was a 2 GB card which I was luckily uh, able to find in my old uh, cameras and anything above 2 GB I've tried 4 GB it doesn't work so try to get a card which is 1 GB or 2 GB and um, if you get something like this it's not gonna initialize it's not gonna read it so that's one of the most common problems and then once you uh, have gotten the card make sure you format it to FAT or FAT16 or FAT32 if your card if you put this this card in this one doesn't have fat partitions it has uh, something called XFAT that won't work only FAT16 or FAT32 would work so once you get a memory card Put it in your computer, format it to FAT16 or FAT32, and then try to run it. And then it should be all good. So now, let's uh, go ahead, put this in. And try to see if our code works this time. Okay, we see the compiler is compiling the file. And it's uploading now, so something should show up here pretty quick it says uh, initializing card wiring is correct and card is present it uh, tells the card type and uh, a lot of information about the card and basically that's it you can proceed to read and write from the card without any problems I hope this video helped you guys if you still have questions hit me up in the comments below Keep fun engineering, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.